Okay. Hello, good morning. Hello, How are you morning. feeling today? I'm very good. And you? Yeah, activated. It's mm. wild. We're here in Bali and it's, it's early morning. And it's fresh another energy. beautiful sunny morning. Yeah, you yeah. might hear the crickets in the background. Mm. Yeah. It's really exciting. So, yeah. so what are we going to talk about today? Uh, sound and uh, mantras. You know, there is lots of magic there. So the idea is to check the, um, the power that we have as, you know, creators when you when we use words, words of power. In uh, the Sanskrit language, we use the word mantra. You know, mantras are sequences or words or sentences that have a certain, you know, vibration and intention that are going to uh, send a, a message, a message through in the um, in our in our conscious mind, in our subconscious. It's going to be impacting mm. on our on our vibration and uh, and energy. So mm. the um, you know, for instance, right now, if we are in front of each other and I'm just at the side, mm. uh, you don't get the message from me. You get an energy vibration or such a message. Mm. But as soon as I start using sound, you know, to communicate, we are it changes. Sweetness, mm. delight, beauty, power. You know, those are words in English. Yeah, but, with certain vibrations also. Exactly, with a certain vibration. So we use we use the, the, the mantras to activate our you know, uh, certain certain codes in our in our mind, mm. in, our, in our energy body. So you can use you know vowel sounds. You can use words with meaning. You can use words in in English, in Sanskrit, or in other secret languages. I use words in Latin, you know, mm. and uh, and so on. And, and do you uh, also Shiva? You also feel them like coming from the stomach, from the belly up, like vibrating through the body. Um, yeah, sometimes. I mean, you can really focus on different parts of the body. For instance, if you do a sound which is like, mm, mm. so you can vibrate it in the third eye, so if you can go to activate that, or you can vibrate it in the throat. Mm. And then you can bring it down, and then you can reactivate mm. the lower chakras by, by vibrating it really, mm. really lower. So, you know, very often also when we start vibrating together, it's going to synchronize our energy and create synergy. Yeah, synergy. This is why it's very powerful to sing in a choir, for instance, and, yeah. and sing some songs together. You can see that people, after a while, they enter into this state of trance and extreme mm. exhilarating joy yeah. because they are synchronizing their energy and activating a certain vibration together. And this creates a, a very high level of resonance. Very often, you will feel extremely connected with people who you. Yeah. With who you are singing, for instance. So this is the, I suppose this is the captivating beauty of the curtain. For yeah. example, the curtain when everyone is singing mantras together, where it just makes you all feel like everyone is singing together as one. Exactly. It has that feeling. Exactly. That resonance. And you can uh, you can really dive into the you know the sacred dimension of that. It means that what you are going to sing is going to be really a, a message that you give to yourself and to your surroundings. Mm. So you can have very heavy metal aggressive music mm. that's going to create aggression or you can have very peaceful music or you can have something which is very empowering you know if you go into jaya jaya it's like mm. creating victory inside of you dedicating your the body power, yeah focusing on the power kind of using the power chakra yeah. And, uh, yeah. yeah exactly and you can really focus focus on the healing aspect of the, the, the mantras you can focus also on the aesthetic aspect mm. you know, like really looking for for the beauty in the sound or you can look for for the, the meaning the depth you know you can learn whole lyrics and whole mm. poems mythical mystical poems that are, you're going to repeat mm. and then that's going to be an, an invocation a divine invocation of a certain energy mm. you know you have for instance yeah. the hanuman chalisa which is like a whole poem to the the god uh, hanuman which is the monkey god mm. in, in mythology and then uh, you know you have to realize also that in ancient times everything was oral transmission it means that people mm. were speaking and uh, transmitting knowledge by, by speaking it's, it's only maybe some scriptures have been written only maybe 500 years ago but before that they were always oral transmission yeah. and so yeah it's in so many indigenous populations the same yeah this oral transmission of story being so powerful song being so powerful exactly mm. exactly and also something to uh, to realize is that the the throat chakra, you know, mm. which is a vishuddha, vishuddha, 
um, the throat chakra is really the, your creative center. So very often, if you are, you know, let's say in a social situation, you will see that some people have more creative power than others. Some are going to withdraw, they are going to speak really slow. So, how are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm good, I'm, I'm okay, I'm fine. And others will be like, yeah, I had a really fantastic time today, and I'm, you know, really projecting their creative power, yeah. their, their energy. So in the beginning, when you're practicing the mantras, you can go really, you know, slow and internal. You can also take the mantra mm. inside, or you can really project it out. So mm. there is all these variations, and in my experience, it really takes a while to, you know, practice to really open your throat chakra mm. and really open your creative center. Mm -hmm. That's that's really the, the goal. The so, and even if you don't know the meaning of some of the mantras, mm -hmm. like what I find, if I don't know the meaning of something word by word, it still has the power. You exactly. know, it still has the power to lift into that vibration of uh, this kind of higher vibration. Exactly. So this is a, this is a very magical aspect that you're talking about because it means that your, your subconscious mind gets it. You know, even mm. if rationally you don't understand, your mental body or your mental rational mind doesn't understand what you're saying, there is a part of you which still gets the meaning. It means yeah. that the, the subconscious mind understands the symbology of the words. You know, you can, you can really have a mystical experience by using certain words that carry a certain light vibration or a certain quality, even if you don't uh, rationally understand the words. Mm -hmm. And um, so there is, there is a tremendous magic with that. Every word or every practice that we do here, you know, it's all an invocation of the spirit. It means yeah. that we are calling life force and energy. So if, if, you, if you send a message out, which is, <laughs> which is just gibberish talk, you know, it's still sending a message out, but the spirit goes like, we don't understand what you're saying, yeah, but, but, okay. but we know that there is something funny about it or an intention. So mm. don't, the spirit or the energy, the life force responds and, you know, and creates a certain vibration around you, mm. which is the reflection of what you just did. You know? yeah. So we, uh, yeah, let's play with some techniques. Yeah, okay? let's, let's see let's, what, uh, okay, let's what happens with that. <laughs>